Fighters and bodybuilders are often attacking each other on the internet, each calling the other insecure and compensating for what they lack. And there's probably some truth to it. I think most men want to be a dangerous fighter and they also want to look good. So if you do martial arts, but you also want to build a more aesthetic physique and get stronger, then this video is for you. Martial arts involves a lot of high intensity cardio for quite a long duration, usually like three to five minute rounds of pretty constant action. So your ability to win fights is mostly a matter of skill and conditioning, but strength is also incredibly important. If two fighters are equally matched in like skill, experience, conditioning, size, and that kind of thing, generally the stronger one is going to win. And obviously also pure size is important too. If two fighters are the same in every other metric, but one is bigger, the bigger one will probably win. So fighting skill and conditioning are most important, but strength and size will give you an advantage as long as they don't take away from your ability to move fluidly and have good cardio. I've fought at both heavier and lighter weights and obviously being lighter generally makes it easier to move around and I feel a bit more snappy while obviously being heavier means you hit harder and you're generally stronger especially with things like wrestling or grappling. If you're watching this video then you train martial arts and you also want to get stronger or bigger so let's get into how you can do that. I assume you'll be training your martial art at least like two to three times a week which is a considerable amount of stress on the body and you need to think about this when you're planning how much strength training you want to do. Most Martial arts training sessions will have some kind of conditioning work built in, but it's generally not very long duration. It will be stuff like skipping or muscular endurance circuits like a bunch of push-ups, squats and sit-ups. So we can consider the martial arts sessions themselves to be conditioning work. They're definitely not strength training because the loads being handled aren't heavy enough. These martial arts conditioning sessions are usually really high intensity. So outside of the fight gym, we want our conditioning to be mostly focused on low intensity and longer duration to build the aerobic base, like building your gas tank. That means things like 45 to 60 minute jogs, cycles or inclined treadmill walking at a pretty low heart rate. So the maximum heart rate you want to reach in these easy low intensity conditioning sessions is 180 minus your age. I'm 22 so I don't want to go over like 158 beats per minute in my low intensity long runs and easy runs. So that's conditioning covered for now. The fewer fight training sessions you have in the week, the more strength and conditioning sessions you can do. So if you train boxing or jiu-jitsu or whatever five times a week, realistically you probably shouldn't do much more than like two strength sessions per week. That already takes you up to seven training sessions a week which means either no rest days or you have to do at least one double training day. If you're doing five training sessions a week though I'm going to assume you already have pretty good work capacity and you're used to a lot of training so two days in the gym should be fine. First I'll explain strength and hypertrophy. So you get stronger by lifting heavier weights for lower reps and you build muscle by lifting lighter weights for higher reps. So the best rep range for strength is like one to five reps and the best rep range for hypertrophy is like five to 30 reps. So if you mostly care about strength and you don't really care that much about getting bigger then you can train mostly in the one to five rep range that will make you strong but it's not enough volume to hypertrophy your muscles much and if you care more about hypertrophy and building bigger muscles then you want to train mostly in the five to thirty rep range generally i'll suggest two to three gym sessions per week for fighters and if you're serious about fighting and competing i would recommend mostly focusing on strength during these sessions and not hypertrophy strength will be more helpful during fights than a bit of extra muscle but if you train uh, more more casually then you can do more hypertrophy training if you like if you're not going to be doing any like important fights anytime soon keep in mind that hypertrophy training is going to make you more sore than strength training because there's more muscle damage and inflammation from the higher reps you can minimize the soreness by avoiding the eccentric or lengthening portion of the movement but this also happens to be the part of the exercise that produces the most hypertrophy being sore obviously isn't ideal for training martial arts so i wouldn't recommend you do too much hypertrophy training if you're serious about fighting because it's going to make you too sore and negatively impact your fight performance. Every fighter should be training for strength though. Focus on like the three to five rep range to build basic strength without putting on too much muscle. The tactical barbell fighter protocol is a good program for building strength while your main focus is on fight training and conditioning. You should pick between like two and four exercises so like bench, squat, deadlift and overhead press and then you perform all of these exercises two days a week so on like Monday and Thursday and this is a three three-week program 
So in week one, you do three or four sets of five reps at 75% of your one rep max for each of these movements. Then in week two, you do the same, but it's at 80% of your one rep max. And then in week three, you do three or four sets of three reps at 90% of your one rep max. So the weights are getting heavier throughout the three week program and the number of reps is decreasing a little bit. So you're kind of starting with higher volume, lower weights, and you're ending with lower volume, higher weights and peaking your strength at the end of this three week program. And you repeat it one more time with the same weights and then you retest your one rep maxes or you increase your one rep maxes by two and a half kilos or five pounds and then you just restart the cycle with your new higher percentages so that will get you pretty strong while allowing you to focus on like your martial arts and your conditioning work it's a pretty minimalist program just getting really strong at a couple of movements if you want to focus a bit more on hypertrophy then i would say maybe choose like two main strength exercises and perform the sets like i just described and then choose just a few muscles that you want to make bigger no more than like two or three muscles per session i would say so if you chose like bench and squat for your strength exercises which covers chest and legs then you could choose to focus on like building your shoulders and your back for your hypertrophy training if you want to minimize soreness then you want to do slightly lower reps so about three or four sets of like six to eight reps on your hypertrophy exercises. If you don't care as much about soreness, then you can do higher reps like eight to 12 and maybe more sets like four to five. More volume with lighter weights means more hypertrophy and lower volume with heavier weights means more strength and not as much hypertrophy. But anywhere between like five and 30 reps builds an equal amount of muscle as long as each set is pushed close to failure. And obviously pushing close to failure will fatigue your muscle and might make you sore. So you have to keep that in mind. So here are a couple of sample programs that I put together. I'm not saying you should use these exact programs, but it's just to give you an idea of what they could look like. So in this first one, we're doing boxing three days a week and you have to work your like conditioning and strength training around that, around your martial arts training sessions. So I've chosen two strength training sessions in a week. And then I've got one long run on Sunday for that uh, low intensity, long duration conditioning. So in the strength sessions, I've chosen squat and bench as my main like heavy exercises that I'm going to focus on getting and stronger at and then I want to grow my back and my shoulders so I'm doing pull-ups lateral raises barbell rows and overhead press for my hypertrophy work and I've got one rest day on Wednesday in this next program I'm doing jiu-jitsu twice a week and that gives me more room to do more conditioning and strength work so I've got three gym days this week on Monday I'm doing squat and overhead press for my heavy like strength work and then barbell row for my hypertrophy work so I've only got one hypertrophy exercise on Wednesday I'm doing deadlift and pull-up for my heavy stuff and then chest flies for my hypertrophy work and then on saturday i've got an upper body gym session with overhead press and pull up and then triceps push downs for some extra hypertrophy and then in the evening i'm going to do some sprint intervals because in my experience jiu-jitsu isn't as high intensity as boxing it's not like you're constantly outputting at near maximal intensity like you are in boxing it's a bit more slow and, and relaxed and then like explosive struggles for dominance pretty much and because of that i wanted to do some some more high intensity conditioning outside of the gym so i'm doing sprint intervals on saturday this is a double training day gym in the morning and it's an upper body session because if i did squats or deadlifts in the morning then my legs would probably be sore for the sprint interval session and then thursday is a long run for that low intensity long duration endurance and then sunday is a rest day so despite having seven sessions in this week we've still got a rest day and we're just doing one like double training day and in this one it's much more intense on the martial arts training so we're doing Muay Thai five days a week and in this case you're going to have to do a couple of double training sessions so on Monday I've got a just squat and overhead press in the morning no hypertrophy work because you know we're doing so much uh, Muay Thai that you really don't want to make yourself sore for these sessions because it's a lot of work already so you're just doing like the minimum possible volume that you could be doing to build your strength without making yourself too sore and impacting your recovery and then in the evening on Monday we're doing our Muay Thai session in my experience most martial arts sessions tend to be in the evening like after people get off work so and then tuesday and wednesday we have more muay thai sessions and then on thursday it's just a strength training day with the squat and overhead press you could probably do like a deadlift and a pull up here instead if you wanted to like hit four different exercises throughout the week but for this program i'm just focusing on two and then on friday in the morning you do a long run for your endurance 
and then Muay Thai in the evening, Saturday Muay Thai in the evening, and then on Sunday you have a rest day. If you feel like you don't need a rest day, then maybe you could do sprints somewhere here in the week, or you could add in like another easy run on Sunday. But I hope these programs have kind of given you an idea of what your training could look like. So you want it to be quite minimal training in the gym. You don't really want to be going in and doing like six different exercises with loads of sets and really high reps because it's going to make you really sore it's definitely gonna impact your fight performance. And if that's what's most important to you, then you need to prioritize that over like bodybuilding. But if you're just doing it casually, then you can do higher volume, more reps and stuff and focus more on the gym and then just have you know minimal like martial arts sessions maybe twice a week. A lot of you won't have access to the gym, so doing like strength training to get stronger is gonna be quite hard for you if you just have your body weight. Developing muscular endurance is very easy with body weight because you can just do a lot of reps, but to get stronger, you need a lot of tension on the muscle. It needs to be hard to do just a few reps, so you need either a lot of weight or it needs to be very hard like calisthenics movements. I definitely recommend getting a dip belt and then you can add weight to your like pull-ups and your dips. You could get a weight vest to do like your weighted push-ups and inverted rows and that kind of thing. And something really important that we need to talk about is nutrition. If you're training martial arts and you're trying to gain muscle, you need a lot of calories. Each boxing or Muay Thai session or whatever sport you do, it might burn like 500 to 1000 calories per session and you need to eat all of that back. If you want to build muscle and gain size, then you need a caloric surplus. You need to bulk and that's a lot of calories. For me, when I was doing jiu-jitsu, lifting and calisthenics, uh, I was doing maybe 9 or 10 total training sessions in the week. I was eating probably 3,600 600 to 4,000 calories every day. That was extremely hard for me because I didn't have uh, that big of an appetite. I was force feeding myself because I wanted to be bulking while I was doing all that, burning all those calories. I did gain weight, but it was really hard. Uh, I find it really easy to eat very little and just shred weight off me like it's nothing. So this year I lost about 10 kilos or 20 pounds preparing for a boxing fight because I was just eating intuitively which meant I ate not very much and I ended up losing a lot of weight, a lot of strength as well because I didn't have a clear program for maintaining or improving my strength and I didn't have the calories or the protein to maintain the muscle that I had built over the previous years and I'm only just starting to get close to my previous levels of strength and muscle about six months later, although I'm now leaner and lighter. The point is you're going to have to eat quite a lot of food, otherwise you'll probably lose weight which will make you weaker. Obviously you have to stay in your weight class, uh, for a lot of you it might might be easy to maintain your weight without eating that much and in that case you can do all the conditioning and extra training you'd like as long as your weight is where you want it to be and you can perform well in all your training sessions so make sure you're eating the right amount of calories to fuel your training and get your weight or body fat to where you want it to be and eat plenty of protein so like 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of body weight or 1.8 to 2.2 grams per kilo of body weight and since you're pushing your body hard training different sports like running lifting and fighting you need to recover just as hard as you train so you need a lot of sleep like eight to nine hours minimum if you're doing this much work outside of training sleep and diet really need to be prioritized over almost anything else i hope you found this helpful uh, if there's anything else you want to know let me know in the comments and i'll do my best to answer you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video